about to watch something. I'm actually going to issue a trigger warning. It was weird to me how upset I was after seeing this clip. It was weird. It was, that is the very definition. It was odd. It made me uncomfortable. I felt easy queasy. And I just want to let you know that you might feel the same way. And let me tell you what's sad about this clip. What's sad about this clip is that Drew Barrymore is in it. And I love Drew Barrymore. I just always loved her. First of all, I think she's unbelievably beautiful. She's one of the rare people that doesn't edit her face as she ages and look totally insane. Um, she doesn't seem like she's fighting to hold on to her youth. And I've just always found her to be very beautiful. I think she's an amazing actress. And so I just didn't need her to do anything stupid and woke. But she has... She has a talk show called Drew, and she is hosting Dylan Mulvaney. Dylan Mulvaney is celebrating one year of dressing like a woman. This is a transvestite is what you're looking at. Um, we used to have a name for that. It's called a transvestite. But, of course, Drew Barrymore realizes that she can love this transvestite, and people will go, you are so amazing, and it's super encouraging that you are supporting an agenda that can never be. It can never be. Dylan Mulvaney will never be a woman, no more than I will ever be a man, no matter how hard I wish. But what she does here is remarkable. Um, all I can say is I'm going to talk you through this clip if you're listening to it. And if you're watching it, I'm sorry. So here they are. And uh, you can see that Drew Barrymore is holding Dylan Mulvaney's hand here on two separate I look couches. I someone like you. And I can't imagine anybody disliking you. Oh, please. Drew Barrymore suddenly, you know, for whatever reason, decided to get on her knees who, in front of Dylan uh, Mulvaney as if she is amazing. about to issue a prayer. And that makes you uncomfortable instantly. It's weird. But now Dylan Mulvaney has gotten down on his knees and they're hugging on their knees in between these two couches. And I don't know why this is taking place and it's awkward. I want to stop. Maybe they're going to go back and sit on their couches. Nope. Now they have gotten down on their low knees. Oh, Drew Barrymore is now sticking her leg out and she is sitting Indian style. She has decided to cross her legs to Indian style and then Dylan Mulvaney joins her. And I think what we're supposed to feel is like this is girl talk. But again, what is a transgender? It's just a mockery of women. This is not how women act. This is very weird. No woman would ever do this. I would never sit down. I think Drew Barrymore, how old is she? I would never sit down before another woman on my knees and hold her hand and then sit Indian style and get close to her face. Because that would be weird. Well, Candace, what are you doing? Why are you close to my face like this, Candace? Why are you sitting Indian style? Are you okay? Are you having a stroke? That's what I would say. Are you having a stroke? Do I need to call 911? And by the way, I've challenged my team. Give me any scenario where you think this would be appropriate. I would find this weird if I walked in and my eight-year-old daughter was having a sleepover and they were holding hands and then they got on their knees and then they got very close to each other's faces and then they started taking any side and say, hey, what are you guys doing? That's a little weird. It's odd. It's making mom wonder, what, what are you guys up to? This is not normal behavior. This is not normal behavior, period, full stop. It's not normal female behavior, and it, it just is something that we have to recognize as a mockery of women. This is what I think. I think that we whisper in each other's ears and we giggle and that there is something about that, that the transgender doesn't even just try to capture women. It tries to capture girls, right? Like what, what they believe a woman is, is secretly a little girl, a little girl that's playing dress up with her friends, right? Even the voices that they give, the way that they speak, they're like, and oh my God, and oh my God, it's, it's watching Halloween and it just won't stop. I don't have a single female friend left or right that behaves in this way. So if Drew Barrymore really wanted to celebrate a woman, she could have invited someone like JK Rowling, who by the way, is about as left as they come, except on this one issue. On this one issue, she has some sanity and she says, actually, I'm a woman. And that's a man. And what has happened? Well, there's been a hunt for J.K. Rowling. She has faced death threats. There are boycotts of her video games. This is a real woman that is operating under duress, a remarkably successful woman. She gave us Harry Potter, okay? And who is coming to her defense? Certainly not Drew Barrymore. Certainly not Jamie Lee Curtis, because they're allowing men to continue to mock women and to take the spaces that should be designated for women, Right? And so how long will this catastrophe go on? I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't do anything other than tell you guys the truth and say the things that people don't want to say for fear of being called a bigot, for acknowledging that biology is real, okay? Sociology is never going to trump biology. In the end, biology is going to win. All right, guys, that unfortunately is all the time that we have for today. I have a lot of exciting content coming up for you guys. You're going to hear me keep saying this over and over again. We are bringing a shot in the dark, which is like my mom tent, my dad tent, talking about the vaccine schedule, talking about the hormones and food. You guys know I'm super crunchy, super granola. 
talking about my gardening, why I think it's so important for people to just be aware of what they are consuming. Yeah, we're bringing it all to Daily Wire Plus in just a couple of weeks. So you can be the first to see that series. Go ahead and click the link in this description and subscribe right now to Daily Wire Plus. And be sure to come back tomorrow because we'll have a brand new episode.